<clears throat> cool. Welcome to Floodsburg, Germany. So for the last couple days, I have been staying with my cousin because she is an English teacher here in Germany for the last five years. And so um, I'm at her apartment right now. She's at school. But for the last couple days, I've been uh, going to school with her and it's been super fun actually. Um, there's like kindergarten first graders there all the way up to, about, um, to 10th grade. And yesterday I spent the day with the little kids and they had like their version of Halloween. Um, so they're all dressed up as things and, uh, and so it was pretty great. But some of them don't understand the concept that I really can't speak much German so they'll just come and one kid, his name is Hendrik, he, uh, he comes up to me and like tells me a story or at least a couple sentences and then he looks at me like Come on, <laughs> like tell me something back, <laughs> and I'm just like, that's cool, that's awesome. Um, but yeah, so uh, so yeah, I am now going to go and explore the city kind of center area and go get some food. What? They have cars in Germany? <sighs> So much quieter than uh, Hamburg, which I mean is kind of expected since Hamburg is the second largest city in Germany. But um, it's really nice, like just walking around and getting lost. But I think I know where I am now, so it's not as much fun. So I'm gonna go get lost again. So I'm on the train from Flensburg to Hamburg, and I've been on it for like 15 minutes. And it's like what you see in the movies. Got my own little cart. And uh, hopefully I don't pick up any passengers, but potentially I can. So, all right, goodbye. So, uh, I don't know if I was supposed to get off there and transfer because my sheet like, had that last place on it. Well, I'll show you what it says. So we're going to find out. I thought maybe it just meant like a long resting space, but it could have meant something different. All right. So I was just there. And now I'm continuing on my way. But the good news is they keep saying Hamburg and Altoona, and I know where both those places are, so if I end up in Altoona and not the Hoppenhof, at least I know how to get to the Hoppenhof from there. So, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And my phone, it does this every now and then. Ooh, a train. It locks me out, and uh, so I can't have internet or translations or anything. So, uh, yeah. Look at that. So, uh, it's been confirmed I was supposed to get off and then train, trains, but that's okay because I know my way around the S-Bahn and so, uh, I'll go, uh, I'll take, I'll take the S-Bahn into the Hauptbahnhof. So it'll cost me like two more euros, but whatever. Um, it's the journey that counts, right? And I think I get there 20 minutes earlier, so like, I ended up being a okay failure. Um, yeah, boop, boop. but my phone would be nice. I would really like to have that. All right, to El Tuna. All right, well, I made it even with the whole little confusion about the exchange thing in El Tuna, and uh, 
It's okay, because I think I also bought the wrong ticket, because there's Hop on Hop Nord and Hop on Hop Sud. So um, I bought the northern one, and the one I wanted was the southern one. So uh, it all worked out in the end. And um, met up with uh, Owen and Camilo and John, and had dinner, and finally am tucked in at the hostel. So uh, I have two roommates. I've met one. And, uh, and yeah, here's our setup. That's where I'm sleeping. With my cool sheet my grandpa made me. Thanks, Grandma. And, uh, that's the mirror. It's like a train bathroom. Ooh, and then the shower. Ooh, yeah. And so, uh, three nights here. It should be fun. And actually, I know it's gonna be fun because um, the number one rule is to have fun. So that's all for this week. It is Monday tomorrow, and that means that this video needs to be edited and put up. So I will see you guys next week. All right, bye.